Saratoga Star Radio, Walt Adams with you, special guest Brian Roman. Good morning, Brian. Hello, Walt. How are you today? Very good. Great to make your acquaintance. Thank you. Thank you so much, Walt. By the way, I like your music. Oh, thank you very much. No, you've been very involved with Living Resources and helping out as one of the job coaches there. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your role. A job coach finds employment for individuals with developmental disabilities and work with employers and that individual to make sure that they're happy and stable in their job. I mean, obviously, there's a lot that goes into it, but in a nutshell, that's pretty much what it's all about. That's that important conduit from the owner to work with uh, people with disabilities. There's the employee who's looking to start something new, might be a little scary, so you try to help get them connected to find the uh, the niche that's going to make it work for them. It's a lot of moving parts. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, from the employer's standpoint, we try to get the employer to understand that you're going to have a very loyal employee, someone who's happy to be contributing to society, happy to be in the workforce, and happy to be getting a paycheck. And along the way, you're going to have a job coach there on site uh, as frequently as is needed to make sure that the person is performing his or her job tasks correctly and there are no issues. So uh, it's important to let the employer know that. I mean, one thing I've said to many employers over the years is it doesn't matter what business you're in, your biggest headache sometimes is personnel. Yeah. And we want to ease that headache. And we have people who are willing to work and want to work. And you know what the economy is like now uh, since COVID, no matter where you go, people are looking for help. Employers everywhere are looking for help. And I hear that all day long. So, you know, we, we can ease that burden a little bit by getting productive, motivated, dedicated individuals into the workforce. And it, it's something that the state of New York has been pushing for a while. Uh, Ten years ago, the state of New York had identified about 126,000 individuals in this state with uh, developmental disability of some sort. And only 7% of them were working. I mean, that that's an absurdly low number and so there's been a big push to get more of these individuals into the workforce so and, and we're we're doing our part and we have a, we have a pretty good program at living resources uh, our employment services program was one of the first uh in the area if not the first to identify this so the that portion of living resources has been around since 1989 and you know, we've put an awful lot of individuals into the workforce over the years, hundreds of them actually. And, and we have a great program to get them started through our college experience program and, and various training programs. So when we fit someone into a job, we're relatively sure it's going to be uh, a, a happy fit for both the individual and the employer. Well, I'm sure that makes a big difference in I guess to understand that October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. What would you say to yes. what would you say to a potential employer? Well, some employers are just looking at the bottom line, so we can always start with the fact that uh, hiring an individual with a developmental disability, there's a tax break involved. And we can also tell them in most cases, these individuals are receiving benefits or other services through the state. So you don't have to buy them health insurance. That's not always the case, but but often it is. Not the first thing we bring up and we can always mention it, but really it goes back to what I said earlier. We can tell an employer that we have an individual who's happy to be in the workforce, wants to contribute, is anxious to get started, and you won't have a headache with this person and as as I mentioned earlier you'll have a job coach right there I I can't speak for other job coaches but in my experience it's been very important to develop a strong positive relationship with the employer so every time I go into a business where I'm working with one of my individuals I make sure the supervisor or the owner sees me and sometimes I have a 10 minute conversation with the employer sometimes it's just hi how are you throughout the course of a week uh, I'll have numerous 
conversations, contacts with employers or supervisors. And they're happy knowing that there's somebody there to assist if there's ever an issue. So that that's a big plus, you know, the fact that a job coach is available. And, you know, over the course of the month, I, I get many uh, emails, or phone calls, or texts from employers just updating me on what's happening with with their their person there. Nice. Uh, there are a lot of moving parts. It, it's a fun job, I have to say. Getting someone employed and seeing that person thrive and make progress, it, it, it's a really good feeling. And Living Resource is a great place to work also, so that makes it a lot easier, believe me. It was a pleasure talking with you, and I uh, really appreciate it, and continued success in what you're doing. Thank you, Walt. Take care now. Yep. For more information on services, go to livingresources.org. I'm Walt Adams on Saratoga's Star Radio.